The Soar 16 Fly-In Moose Boat. It's alive! Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. I sold my pack boat. I'm doing a fly-in uh, trip this year, uh, either with one other guy or maybe even solo. And I wanted a little bit more stability. So that pack boat 170 is just like a hard shell canoe or a lot like a hard shell canoe. So it's not super stable and it can't carry a really big load. So I'm going to a lake that has a number of little things you can explore on it, flying in there to a exclusive uh, zone for moose. So I wanted something that I could do a little exploring with, uh, even if I had to go by myself. So I bought this SOAR, which stands for somewhere on a river in there. There it is. And uh, a lot of fun to paddle. I've tried both the kayak paddle and the canoe paddle. And as usual, I always prefer a canoe paddle. I just am more used to it. Uh, the wind has come up a few times. I'm surprised if I, you know, get it, the weight on the boat so it's not weather cocking into the wind. It's pretty good because it's got really low ends. It's got these sled ends. And Larry Bartlett, uh, criticized those sled ends. Uh, his, his, uh, inflatables have a bulbous end, which does give you more, uh, carrying capacity. But, and if you're using oars, you're good. But if you want to paddle, I, I think these are this, these sled ends are really really good. This is very very easy to take in a in a wind, which is your one worry in a lake is you get blown all over the place if you because uh, you don't have all that much power. Uh, capacity wise, uh, these uh, big I think they're twelve or fourteen inch tubes. Um, man, you got so much more um, flotation. Plus, you got a four inch floor. Uh, the initial stability when you're just, your weight in it is, it's, you know, not unsteady, but it's, it's not, doesn't feel super steady, but I'm imagining as you get more of the boat into the water, she's going to really saw it up. It reminds me a lot of my, uh, clipper, uh, freighter, which will take 1500 pounds. So this is only rated to a thousand, but I think they're being... I think it's mostly because your internal space, you've only got about 14 inch, uh, 14 inches inside. So you start running out of space unless you carry stuff fairly high. But I think it'll take a moose and a guy. Moose and two guys might, and gear would be too much for it. But, uh, for my uses, this is, uh, almost perfect because the bigger boats you can't handle with a paddle. And because of my back injury, I'm always better off with a paddle rather than a horse. Oh, it's fun. It's a little heavy, much heavier than the pack. The pack boat was a 52 pounds. This is a 20 pounds at least heavier than that. And, uh, but uh, it's less fiddly to set up. You don't have all those parts. You just blow it up, which takes with the air, with the pump, it takes quite a bit. So I'm gonna look for a rechargeable pump. I got a pump that fits into the truck. That makes it really, really easy and you're, you know, you're ready to go in 10 minutes. Or even when you get really good with that pack boat, you're 20, 25 minutes to get that thing all put together. Not a big deal either way. So I'll just keep paddling here. I'll do another twist here. There we go. Long Lake. It's a nice place to bring your canoe the first time just to get a feel for it. And, uh, on a rainy day, a day that's threatening to rain, nobody's here. Cool. <laughs> 